I said more calmly. As you say. She obviously got confused by my statement. I looked at the plate in front of me. No appetite whatsoever. I could not understand how Malfoy managed to stay so calm. Then I saw him, in my body, get up from the table and quickly go to the exit. I too took off and hurried after him. Luckily I managed to catch up in the hallway and pressed him against the wall, not giving him a single chance to escape the talk. Hey, dickhead! <laughs> 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 I'm sorry, that was start <laughs> menu Leviosa. <laughs> That's just a little Harry Potter humor for you. <laughs> what the hell, is this some kind of sick joke? Really, Potter, in what universe do you think I want to be in your body? You've seen the perfection, which is me, have you not? Yes. I feel slightly embarrassed looking into his green eyes. Oh, nice. And then I heard steps, Draco smirked. He suddenly grabbed my hand and switched places with me. Now I was pressed against the wall. Malfoy, what are you doing? Enjoying myself, look. Draco quietly whispered into my ear while the second sound of footsteps got even closer. Malfoy, you shall be mine and mine alone. <laughs> he put his hand on my chest, forcing me to press my back against the wall even more. Malfoy was clearly not in his right mind. No scrap that. He'd gone completely mad. He's gone completely mad. On top of that, it turned that his footsteps belonged to Ron and Hermione. Harry, what are you doing? Harry? Ron, Hermione, please leave us. I have to talk to Malfoy alone. You're no. like, dude, guys. Guys, just... You can... You can keep going. Don't, it's don't okay. fucking don't mess up. Don't this fuck. Moment. Don't fucking cock block me and me over here. <laughs> hey, I'm trying to get fucked by Draco Malfoy here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you say so, Ron, let's go. <laughs> I can swear Hermione got suspicious there for a second as she looked at me and Malfoy, and Ron was well confused. Harry, if you want to punch the ferret's face, I'd be more than happy to help. Remember that. I noticed how Draco twitched, but soon overcame the comment. Oh no, Ron. What are you talking about? I do, do not want to treat the love of my life so rudely. Oops. Self-voicing enabled. I could <laughs> what, not stand what? this. <laughs> Harry Potter what? Are you completely mad? <laughs> I tried to break free from his grasp. Harry Potter let me go. Now. But now <laughs> boy pressed me against the wall even more. Draco Malfoy be quiet. Calm down. Ron Weasley Harry, you should pay a visit to infirmary. I think you are cursed or something. Ron pulled Malfoy in my body by the sleeve. Ron Weasley come on. Draco Malfoy no. Do not touch me. Can't I have some privacy? I was not going to tolerate it any further, and was about ready to put an end to all of this. Harry Potter Malfoy is not me, but... Draco reacted immediately, and I felt that my mouth, that is Malfoy's mouth, got sealed by my lips. Merlin, it's too complicated to explain. <laughs> yeah. I'm not narcissistic like Malfoy, but the kiss was awesome. It was sweet, slightly tart, perhaps because of strawberry jam, which he clearly had for breakfast. Yeah. It felt like there wasn't enough air even. I closed my eyes and returned the kiss. Did. My feet began to fail me and I started sliding down. Malfoy noticed it and put his leg between mine, not allowing my body, his body to escape. Finally, Draco pulled away. Only then I realized how fast my heart was pounding, and I felt pleasant warmth spreading all over the body. <laughs> I opened my eyes. Well, half of Hogwarts, if not more, was staring at us. Bravo, Malfoy. If I now tell that you are Draco Malfoy in my body, I'll immediately get sent to St. Mungo's. I looked at Malfoy once more, 
his cheeks exampling a faint blush again. Well, my cheeks. He leaned towards my ear. Draco Malfoy we're not done yet, Potter. And the password is lightning. The password like a safe word or... Right, yeah, bud. The heat of his breath reached my ear. Then he stepped back, looked at the students, adjusted the sleeve of his robe and made his way through the crowd, <laughs> like and gay he was Harry out of Potter sight. fan fiction narrated by Microsoft fan. <laughs> yeah. That's I mean What more could you want? To, if you would back in time and told yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I saw how Ron and Hermione ran after him. Some of the Slytherins immediately ran towards me. I was still collecting my thoughts, the body still shivering, and my voice hoarse. I tried to pull myself together and get away but the black-haired Slytherin girl managed to get to me faster. Slytherin. Slytherin. Pansy Parkinson Draco. Draco. How are you? He will regret it. How dare he? Harry Potter yes, yes. I waved away. Pansy Parkinson Potter is completely out of his mind. Come, let's return to the living room. Or should I take you to the hospital wing? Damn it. Damn it. Pansy Parkinson, as you wish, Draco. She was clearly annoyed by my answer but she, the rest of the Slytherins also parted. I got out of this crazy crowd and reached the Slytherins common room. Harry Potter Merlin's beard, I do not know the password. I think you do. I sighed and sat down next to the entrance. After some time, the entrance opened, and a couple of students came out. I took advantage of this opportunity, and immediately went to Malfoy's room. Oh. No. There is also a password. And I know it, right? I heard footsteps and looked to the side, a couple of Slytherins heading my way, so probably wanting something from me. Yeah, loads That'd and loads be of too much. I pretended to be searching for something in the pockets of my robes and then I remembered. Harry Potter lightning. The stones on the wall quickly parted, allowing me to open the door. Without further delay, I slipped in already in the room, leaning against the door, I slid down and sat on the floor. That day I skipped all the classes because my mind was occupied by the search for solutions to my problem. More precisely, the problem was that the brain did not want to think about finding any and wanted to think about Malfoy and his lips. That is to say, my lips. Merlin, that sounds absolutely wrong. Well, I mean, yeah. <laughs> and yet, I, got I could not just, understand just, Malfoy's just stop, behavior. Stop! Just stop being confused about it, dude. Just, just, just stop being confused. He's he's in your body. You're in his body, so you don't have to be like his lips. No, my lips. Wait. Someone knocks on the door. You're very attracted just, to you. Just just figure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why can people not just leave me alone? Lucius Malfoy Draco, it's your father. May I come May in? I come in? Ah, yes. I forgot. Harry Potter, yes. Yup. I sat on the bed. Lucius walked into the room and closed the door behind. Lucius Malfoy, son, you did not come to me after breakfast. What's wrong? I've heard that Potter has attacked you. Harry Potter, yeah, it's not that he attacked me, though. Lucius sat down next to me and put his hand on my shoulder. Mm hmm? Well, it wasn't me. Okay. It sounds like. I think Eddie would probably, probably be the one Eddie. who did that. <laughs> um, put his hand on my shoulder. Lucius Malfoy, Drake. Lucius Malfoy, you should not endure it. Next time. I hope that you will give him a worthy response to such outrageous behavior. But that happened after Lucius was going to tell him something. Yeah. So, what is that? Lucius Malfoy, and should anyone blame you for that, they will regret it. Daddy will hear about this. I never thought that Lucius Malfoy could be, 
a real father. I always thought that he loved no one else but himself and his reputation. Harry Potter thank you. Lucius Malfoy what for? Are you suggesting a scenario where both minds remain in their new bodies? That is unheard of. There aren't any counter spells, because there's no need for them. Ah. Uh -huh. Yeah. There's no antidote, because you'll never drink poison. Yeah. Harry Potter I see. Thank you. I automatically smiled in response and then I suddenly realized that there's one more question. Harry Potter father, why did you put me together with Potter? We're completely incompatible and obviously not on the same wavelength. Lucius Malfoy I must admit, I was surprised that you succeeded in completing the task so quickly. Lucius Malfoy perhaps you are not as different as it may seem. Now anyways, Lucius Malfoy, but the reason was our that, plan to conquer I know that at the time, <laughs> when you told me about your... Lucius wrinkled his nose a little. Lucius Malfoy. Feelings for this boy, I got too furious. Too furious. I might have even been too harsh too on you. <laughs> Alright, cool, it's reciprocated, what is but he we saying? knew that. Lucius Malfoy, I have to admit that I changed my mind and decided to help you develop at least some connection to him. Lucius Malfoy, especially in the current situation, it would even be profitable for our family. Sweet. So. <laughs> Fuck. Lucius Malfoy, as everyone is worshipping the great Harry Potter. I mean, it's exactly what I thought it was gonna be. Yeah. It, it is. Ah! <laughs> God damn it. Come on. Harry Potter, I see. Lucius Malfoy, well, if you have, if you have questions, no more questions, I'll be I'll on be my way. Self voicing disabled. Lucius kissed me on the forehead. I got up and left my room. I took a deep breath and fell on the bed, staring at the ceiling. Now everything has become a little clearer. But how could it really be so? Malfoy, experiencing feelings other than hate for me, it sounds so silly. Is it possible? Oddly enough, I smiled at the thought. There's something to worry about, though. I must return everything to its place and then deal with this new information. I miss my friends. Hermione would surely know what to do. Maybe I should try to find her and tell her everything. She might even believe me. She should. Find solution myself. But if she doesn't, things might get worse. First, I'll try finding something myself. As a result, I spent every... Mo spare moment in the library and search yeah. for an answer, but with no results. Yeah! I was losing hope. Malfoy wasn't making things easier either. Which Malfoy? And I couldn't find a moment to speak to him one on one. He was never alone, always someone with him. Or was that my own popularity? Huh. Hmm. And of course, he continued mocking me in front of others given at every given opportunity. However, these attempts were beginning to look more and more like flirtation. Oh, fuck frick. off. It's taking into account what I've heard from Lucius, it probably was exactly that. In return, the entire... <laughs> yeah, sometimes it's just very flirty to, like, talk down to people in front of ever all of your friends yeah. all the time. Just being like, you suck. <laughs> you stupid, stinky snake. <laughs> Time passed. Nothing got better. I was returning from the library, again with no results or answers. Still, even my mind in frustration, I caught a bit of a conversation between the two Slytherins. Well done. You almost got him You got him good. That's what you get from messing with Slytherin. I know. You saw him writhing in pain. Yes, it was so funny. So much for the savior of the world. At that time, the moment I got hit by a sharp sen sense of anxiety. Hey, you two, what are you talking about? Oh, Draco, we made ha Potter pay for all the things he's done to you, and for mocking your great house. 
one of them proudly declared. What? What do you mean? Oh, come on now. He got what he deserved. I think he earned a couple of days in the hospital wing. If anyone finds him first, that is. And it's not... Eh. And if not then, even longer. Both Slytherins laughed. Ha <laughs> ha! Idiots, what have you done? Where is he? The expressions on their face immediately changed to fear. It was difficult to say who was, at that moment, more terrifying in his anger, me or Malfoy. The abandoned office on the fourth floor, the third door on the right, but Draco, we thought you'd appreciate it. Isn't this what you'd want us to do? I didn't bother with an answer and ran in the directions of the stairs. Malfoy done it this time. Beaten up by his own lovely Slytherins. I busted into the office. Hey, dipshit! <laughs> <laughs> You hairy piece of shit! shit. <laughs> Malfoy? I heard no answer. Malfoy, Draco, it's me, Potter. Somewhere in the back of the classroom, something rustled. Mutter, he said huskily. I rushed to him. Merlin, you're all beaten up. Sorry I messed up your body. <laughs> oh, forget it. Here, I'll take you to the hospital wing. No, don't. Oh, I need to. Picked him up and carried him to the infirmary. It turned out that Malfoy was physically developed enough because it was very easy for me to pick up my body. In the infirmary, man, man whoever wrote this got the biggest boner for Malfoy. Yeah. In the infirmary, Malvin Palmfrey showed me and immediately started working on Draco's wound. I went back to the hospital wing in the morning. Draco was there, all bandaged up. Malfoy, well, hi there, handsome. I knew it. You like how you look in bandages and stitches, don't you? This ex Everyone's just getting the, the foppish voice today. Oh, yeah. This explains why you spend so much time being here. I do not. I laughed and took out a chocolate frog. Here, for you. Malfoy looked at me like I was crazy. Don't be shy. Take it. Thank you. He took the frog and took a few bites of it. If only I had known now, I would be happy to trade places with you. I know. What, and you didn't say anything? I found this information just before I got attacked by those freaks. Oh, so maybe now? Really? You mean now? What about my punishment? The knights in pain from the hospital wing? Not happening. I'm used to it, so out you go. Oh, Potter, being a hero again. But okay. In fact, the solution is very simple. It is necessary to do everything the same way we did during the lesson. That's all? Almost. Rather than hold hands, we should... We should be closer. Do you understand what I mean? Still, it took me a few seconds to realize what he was saying. Seriously? No, of course not. He laughed and then winced in pain. Elfoy, stop it with the jokes. Okay, give me your hand. I took his hand and we began staring at each other. One, two, three, we uttered the spell. Everything began to turn. I felt the cold and all the pain in my mind left Malfoy's body. I returned to my original body, opened my eyes and immediately felt the broken rib and aching jaw. Malfoy also opened his eyes. We did it. Without warning, Draco wrapped his arms around my neck and caught me in a careful embrace. Then apparently he realized what he had just done and as soon as possible pulled away, although his cheeks got a bit redder. Look at you, Potter, all ruffled up. I have you to thank for that. No, thank you. You saved me. I did not know why I did it, but I took him by his tie and pulled him close to me and pressed my lips against his. Now my lips actually against his lips. Malfoy's eyes widened in surprise, but soon closed, obviously not without pleasure. Is, is my soul out of my body now? Because, <laughs> fuck. Yeah. I hate this. He returned the kiss, finally relaxed and not wanting to stop anytime soon. Fuck. Alright, I do not know how long we kiss. Maybe for a small eternity, at the end of which Draco almost... Was almost on my bed, but I did not care. I wanted to kiss him. I wanted to touch him. I. 
Oh, that is the end of it? That's our full playthrough of, um... Harry Potter and the Transformationers... Sounds uh, from Sound Bible and freesound.org. Oh, frick yeah. That's where I'd get them. Based on J.K. Rowling's book. Not not the uh, Harry Potter book series. Just just a Harry Potter book series. <laughs> yeah, one of one of that. one of many. All right. Thanks for tuning in. We'll do other stuff later. <sighs> I think that's a good way to end <laughs> anything. Just thanks. We'll do 